this is a sad day here in Carter's life, guys, because today we're gonna be saying goodbye to the red Lamborghini, and let me show you exactly why. So, we were getting ready to sell the car, and the day that we were taking pictures, getting it clean, making it perfect for the next owner of this car, uh, well, something happened. So Matt was trying to do a startup video, but unfortunately he left it in gear. And so when he left it in gear, when it started, it started rolling down the driveway and he crashed it into a tree. So basically what happened is after he hit the tree, it caused damage to the front fiberglass bumper and really ripped it all up. It's quite significant. It's probably about eight to $10,000 worth of fiberglass repair to get it back to the way it was. And there's even more pieces. So if you guys are wondering the extent of the damage, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. I mean, it took quite a hit. All the impact of the entire car as it drove down the hill and into the tree, you know, really tore up, it bent the metal. So all of this, in order to fix this, we had to recreate these fiberglass pieces, the exact shape, put it on, do a lot of Bondo and fiberglass body work, and then repaint the entire thing to make it match. And it's beyond my skill level of repair, so we're gonna have to take it to a shop and uh, get this worked out. And that's why we're saying goodbye today. We also have a flat tire to top everything off, so. We're not even gonna be able to move the car unless we can get air in this tire, so let's see if we can pump it up, Andrew. And then the next question is, after we get air in that tire, will it start? It's been sitting for a little while, but I think it should be fine, but the battery could be dead, it might have trouble starting, it's an old car, so uh, we'll see. All right, Liz, you ready to see it? We got a crazy vehicle out here. Whoa, look at the stuff in Vegas. You see this in Vegas? Oh yeah, kind yeah, of, we'll go up to it. Let's see if Millie likes it. It's like big but kind of small at the same time. Yeah, look, it opens. You can open the door. So nice. Yeah, climb up there and sit in there. And see, it's a very weird sitting position. It's made for like short people. <laughs> like, for me. where's Millie? She's sniffing around it. All right, look at you putzing around. It's a Mercedes. It's like the craziest Mercedes you've ever seen. Look at the dashboard. We're gonna, so guys, we're gonna start this thing up, take it for a ride, but. This thing is sick. You got historical plates on it, so you don't what, have to get it registered or something. Oh, Millie wants to go. All right, Millie, come on. You should make a mini mall. Come on, Millie, let's go. Millie. Hop on. Get up here. You can do it. Oh my gosh, it's so Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. But yeah, this thing is so cool. It's working. The tire is taking air, so that's, that's great news. I'm not sure why the tire would have a slow leak. It's not like it was a nail, but it's just an old car. It's an old Lamborghini, old Lamborghinis, just high maintenance, a lot of problems, and uh, I think it's just time for the next loving owner of this car to take it and enjoy it and not crash it into trees. Oh! Stop, 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 stop! Oh my god. The tire held air, let's see if it'll start. We gotta pull this out. The tow truck is gonna be here, so I wanna have this ready. <laughs> so I just gotta not do what Matt did. Stop, 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 stop! and I need to make sure it's in neutral. If it's not in neutral, when you start it, it can roll. And I'm gonna put my foot on the brake too, just to really make sure. If it starts to roll on me, it won't, you know, drive into the house. We're in neutral. Just gotta get, to get it to start. Uh-oh. Yes! It started. Uh-oh. I think it's gonna start. Tires are sick. So meaty. So much meat on that. I mean, you could go at least this high in water. Could you? Yeah, easy. That's kind of why it's up, I think. Electra motors, we got the tag. There's the bed. So you could put like 12 seats in the back here. All right, guys, I'm climbing up. Not too many handles, I guess. Like a couple in there. <laughs> this thing's hot. Yeah. All right. It's kind of crazy to see, you know, the seating. Actually, it's not as awkward now that I'm here. You got a lot of shift levers. And then you got one, two, three, four. Drive shaft, emergency brake. This is reverse, and this is the gear. Oh, wow. Well. It's all in a different language, guys. Check that out. You got a choke? Yep. All right, climb on up. This will be interesting. All right, guys, let's go. Unimog. Are you coming? All right, we got Liz and Millie coming last second. All right. The steering wheel is so big. <laughs> We're going 
so slow. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look how slow we're going. Hang on. <laughs> It's like about to die, but about to start. Hey, Fire, what happened to uh, the front of it? Yes, man. <laughs> Have you actually not seen that? I don't know. You he did that? that? He hit it? You don't know about this? He hit the car? No. No, Matt Norlock drove it into Matt a tree. Matt Norlock? He drove it into a tree. <laughs> no. Yes, I Matt Norlock? I had to go get it fixed, though. The trip. Isn't that's like, how are they gonna fix that? We're gonna move on to the next phase. We gotta pump, pop the truck. Uh, the truck? Trunk? So this is the trunk on the car. I've got kind of giving you a full tour of this thing, which is sick. All right, so the trunk opens quite a bit of trunk space. Very, you know, I actually do like that about this car. You can actually put your bags or some groceries, whatever back here. You can go for a road trip. This is also where the, we put the battery. It's really easy to access back here, so we can jump it up. So the reason why it's not starting, if you're wondering, it's not because this car is junky or anything. It's actually extremely well maintained, high quality mechanics and everything, but it's just an older design. It's carbureted. So when it's not driven frequently, you got to get all the fluids pumping through the systems and that can just take a lot of cranks to get it going because it's all mechanically carbureted. It's not a uh, modern fuel injection. So it doesn't always just start like that but uh, it easily can, you just have to drive it. It's been sitting since the crash, so it's been a few months. So. All right, let's try it again. So once it gets started, it should be fine, and uh, you know, but that's just the nature of one of these cars. Same thing as the dune buggy as well. There we go. Uh, I gotta pump more gas into it. So by pumping it, if you pump the pedal, it actually starts squirting little fuel into the carburetor to help it get started when it hasn't been ran for a while. So I'm trying that now, so I think it'll start. Let's, here we go, let's try it. Okay. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard to start. Normally it's not. All right, well let's pop the hood. Let's use some carburetor starting fluid. carburetors they can be finicky when they're sitting but once you get it going if I were to turn it off try to start it again it'll start tomorrow cold start it'll start it's just when they sit but uh we're good to go it sounds great let's move it all right so this is another challenging part I gotta get it out but there's a pole right there Back there, Liz. <laughs> She's traumatized. <laughs> How'd Millie do? She's still doing all right. Oh my god! It's loud. It's bumpy. It's like the slowest vehicle I've ever been in, which is sick. I mean, it's def. This Unimog is definitely unique. I will say. I wonder if it's as fast as it's supposed to be, or if it's got some lost HP. Millie, what you gonna do out there? So yeah, let me see that transmission. I think it's grinding every time you rev, and jeez. It just doesn't, I just I know, feel man. like it's not right. Something's not right with it. I know. It sounds like it's oilless or, I think, I'm, have you tried Googling? Like, I mean, people must buy these and. Well, the other, so the other one that he has sounds yeah. exactly the same. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, we it drove it. And I, cause I said that, I was like, dude, it, it sounds like there's something. Just kind of blowing it, yeah. yeah. Or is it just 1960s military? I mean, yeah. I mean, it looks so sick though. Maybe, I'm gonna have to, I'd be so down to like, I'd have to put a different drivetrain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, so the engine's actually up front? Yeah. Oh, uh, that little tiny, th oh my gosh, that's oh so sick. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's that's like, all it is. <laughs> that pulling this massive thing, like. What kind of, oh, there's gotta be some simple mods. Are you sure you're not supposed to be putting diesel in there and it's running off of gasoline? No, it wouldn't even run. <laughs> Look, it's a it's panel. Yeah, it wouldn't These even These are fuses, run. right? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. sick. Very old school. Super old school. All right, guys, we got the tow truck here. 
the Countach. All right, guys. <laughs> well, here we go. We're having to say oh, goodbye. Man. Just look how low this is, guys. Oh my gosh. We might need some more wood. That's literally what we have to do because it's so low, and that's also with the bumper ripped off. So it's even lower on the other side. Look at that. No way. So we're using the winch right there. You can see it turning. It's pulling this, which then pulls the car up. And we have all this wood, so the bumper will clear. And this is also considering the truck is like out the driveway too. It's pretty wild to get a car like this that's so low to the ground on a trailer. Like talk about impractical. This is the king of impractical cars. All right guys, well, this is gonna be the final, the final look as we say goodbye to the Countach. Well, for now, it's gonna come back better, cleaner than ever, and then we're gonna be selling it. So if any of you guys are interested in buying this exact car from me, just comment down below. Seriously, uh, I do wanna sell it. It's not super cheap, but if you guys are actually interested in, in the market for one of these, uh, comment down below because I'm gonna be posting it. You guys will see it for sale soon. Oh boy, here we go. I've seen it loaded up on the truck before and it's back on the truck again. Oh boy. Make sure the doors are closed. Make sure the trunk is closed. This door is not closed. All right, guys, and it's rolling away. There it goes. It's driving away, but you know, not on the road. It's sitting on a truck, but there it goes. I think this car might have more miles riding on the back of a truck than it does driving itself. And there it goes. Bye, Countach. Bye. The Countach might be gone, but guys, check out the new whip. We got the Porsche color match with the keys. What year is this one? 67. 1967 Porsche 911 or? 912. 912? Oh my gosh, I've never been in one of these. I've never seen one. Oh wow. This is like one, of, this is basically the same year as the Doom Buggy. Oh wow, dude, this is great. Look at the interior of this. The seats in the back. Oh man, dude, this is sick. Right? This is all like stock original stock. Stock original, man. Untouched. Oh my gosh. Untouched. Look at how they do the door. What the heck? That's interesting. Oh man. These carburetors. Yep. This is sick. This steering wheel is like a bus. I feel so fancy and <laughs> I feel classy right now.